Welcome everyone. This is Dina from Mark's Group Live. Happy to be reviewing with you how to work with reporting in Zoho Books. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject or anything else Zoho. Also be sure to rate this class, helping out your fellow Zoho users as well as us to improve our video library. Here are some of the key takeaways we have for today. Um, reports are available to show business overviews, sales results, inventory information, receivables, and payments. Within the reports, there is a lot of customization that you can do. You cannot create new reports, but within the reports we have in Zoho Books, you can customize. And reports can be scheduled to run and be sent out. So let's go into Zoho now. Um, Oops. And let's start on the dashboard. And as you can see, um, on the left side, if you go all the way down, reports is the last item here. And when you get into reports, you can see, as I mentioned, there's a lot of different reports available to you. There are um, business overview reports, there are sales reports, inventory, receivables, payments received, recurring invoices, uh, payables, purchases and expenses, taxes, project and timesheet, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lots you can choose from here. Uh, so let's we'll go into a couple and I'll show you some of the um, some of the things you can do. So let's first go into a profit and loss statement. And there's a few different things you can do here. So first, um, this is a profit and loss statement for um, the time period of January uh, 1st to January 31st of 2019. So one of the things you can do is change the uh, date options. So by clicking on customize, I can change this to previous year and I can run the report. And then you can see at the top of the heading it says January 1st to December 31st. The other thing you can do is where you have um, a hyperlink or a blue text, you can click and then you can get into the detail of that um, of that item. So for sales here, we can see that uh, we had a zero balance as of January 1st. We had a sale on November 28th, and that was our only sale, so that's reflected as a closing balance for the year 2018. Other ways that you can customize the report, customize the reports. Um, let me let me just go back out to um, to the general report. So um, you can customize the report with the timeline. You can compare it with previous periods, and then you can decide how many periods. Um, put in two there. Report basis, accrual or cash. I'm going to put that as cash. And if it's related to a project, if you want to just see the profit and loss for um, a specific project, you can do that. You can choose if you include accounts with a zero balance and uh, whether you include year to date information. So I'm going to just add in um, prior periods and run the report. And as you can see, even though we have zero information, we're seeing January to December 2016, January to December 2017, and then 2018, which is what we had in our report before. You can also, um, in, if you want to include accounts with zero balances, you can. And then you also have, um, you can make this list view, and then you can go into the different reports from here. Another thing you can do is schedule reports. So let's say we wanted to schedule um, this report. We can decide the frequency. Our options are weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly. Given this is a yearly report, probably makes sense to do it yearly. Start date and time can be today. You can schedule it for maybe your uh, final books will be done by the end of this quarter, so we can do it for that. You can set the time for this and who the email recipients will be. And then you can add additional um, recipients. And what you can do here is you can type in um, you can type in name uh, email addresses that have nothing to do with a Zoho Books user. 
and you just do commas and then they can get it as well. Take that out for now. And then you can choose to attach the report as a PDF or as an Excel spreadsheet, either way that you want. And you, you know, like I said, depending on the report, it may make more sense to generate the report more frequently. I'm going to cancel this out. You can print the report and then you can also export it. You can export it as a PDF, as in uh, two different versions of Excel, or you can view it in Zoho Sheets. So let's now go to um, a, sales, uh, a sales report. So if I go to a sales report here, you can see we don't really have any data by customer. Let's see if we go to, we have some if we go to by quarter. And then again, at the top, you have um, the, the time frame that you can do this in. You can customize the report. Customizing the sales reports is slightly different than the business overview reports. You have the date range. You can include sales that, that don't have invoices or returns if you want. You can include manual journals. Um, you can have advanced filters. And you can kind of create what those are. And then on the left here, you can also show or hide columns. So we have name, invoice, uh, count, uh, sales, sales with taxes. Maybe um, if there was something else we wanted to include, we could. Maybe we'll include company name as well. And then again, you would run the report. Um, you know what? Let me get out of the that. And it didn't really change anything here because we um, we didn't really have a lot of information. And again, here at the top, the schedule the report, print, and the export as. And if we hit this list, we can um, go to other reports as well. We can go to a customer balance report. And you can see we have two different uh, customers here and what their balances are. This is as of today. Again, we can do it as of this year. We can do it as of um, previous month. We can change what we do here. And then when we customize the report, you can actually then make this a report just for one customer rather than all customers. And then you have a report that you can actually send to your customers. Um, if we go in here a little bit more, um, we have vendor reports, payable reports. We have purchases. Um, we have all kinds of information. We even have, if you go all the way down, activity reports. If you wanted to see activity logs to see, you know, what has this user, TMG Live, what activities have they done in the last, um, you know, in the last month. Um, this is under this month. So if you're, you know, assessing a, 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 a salesperson, you can, or user, you can do that as well. You can customize this report. You can make it related to only a certain type of activity. Um, and you can, again, customize it by user if we had more users in here. Uh, I'm going to X out of this. And um, you can see here. So really what you can see here is that there is a lot of reporting that's available. In, um, in Zoho reports, and you can do a lot with this information. So let's go back to what our takeaways were. And as we showed, reports are available to show business overview, sales results, inventory, receivables, and payments, among other things. There is a lot of customization that can be done within the existing reports, and you can schedule the reports to be run and sent out um, as you need to. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out our library for other training videos like this one. And if you have any suggestions for other classes or questions about Zoho, please feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thanks for watching.